Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this is the first video of our Terraform for Beginners course. So Terraform, if you don't know, is an infrastructure orchestration tool. So that is, you can orchestrate your infrastructure using Terraform. So if you have any exposure to cloud formation, Terraform is very similar to that. But like cloud formation is very specific to AWS. With Terraform, you can orchestrate any cloud. So it could be Ter AWS, it could be GCP, it could be Azure. You can even um, basically Terraform or you can use Terraform on uh, DigitalOcean and VMware. Alright, so why bother about Terraform? Because Terraform was, I mean, was the first introduction of infrastructure as code. So it actually helped you to codify your infrastructure. Benefits that come from infrastructure, I mean, writing your infrastructure as code is basically that you can version control your infrastructure. So that's one uh, aspect of that. You can reuse your infrastructure as code. Maintainability becomes much easier. So you don't, I mean, like in earlier days, there was, there used to be one or two people in the system administration team that knew how to provision servers. But with infrastructure as code, that thing is gone now. Everybody can contribute. Everybody can basically help in creating and maintaining the infrastructure, right? So that actually, uh, Terraform has actually solved that problem to quite some extent now. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Terraform and how to configure your machine to use Terraform, right? So we are going to use a CentOS 7 machine and the first thing which we are going to do is download Terraform binary. So Terraform is written in Go, so a simple binary is available. You can do a simple Google search, uh, download Terraform for CentOS 7 or whatever your OS is. So I've already done that and this is the URL which is basically available uh, for this uh, binary. So I'm going to do a wget on this. Okay, so my system doesn't have wget command. So first I need to do yum install wget. That's funny actually. I didn't know that the system doesn't has wget. So it's a new virtual machine basically. So I think I can be excused for that. Yeah. All right, so wget is installed. Now let's run that command again. So if your internet speed is fine, this should take around a minute or so, not more than that. So this is around 170 MBs. I'm not sure about that's the size of the star file or zip file basically. Let me see if I have unzip command or not. So I'm not skipping anything. So if there are any other any errors, any issues which I face, probably it will help you because probably that would actually help you that you won't face those issues, right? The mistakes which I will make, I'll actually, I mean, you'll make sure that you don't make those mistakes, right? Like checking wget. I didn't have wget. So you could check before going for wget straight, right? So let's do an ls. We have this zip file over here let's unzip this so let's see if we have unzip and you see i don't have unzip all right so let's install unzip as well um, install unzip. so these are like small small things which you should take care of so now let me do unzip and you would see that it will be a single binary that has basically unzipped into right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to move this binary to let me just do echo dollar path so i need to see where i can move this so you because you use a local s bin slash s bin user s bin user bin so i'll move this terraform to user bin directory so now if I do Terraform, you can see I'm able to use Terraform, right? So once you've installed Terraform, it's probably of no use, right? Because it's running Terraform, but I need to do, I need to be able to do something with it, right? So now you have to decide which, I mean, where you want to provision your infrastructure using Terraform. 
so for all these lectures all these videos i'll be using aws so i'll be provisioning my infrastructure in aws for you it could be gcp i mean for some it can be azure vmware and things like that right so there are actually documentation available on terraform website i'll put the link in the description basically so how you can basically set up terraform for azure and for gcp for aws what i'm going to do is i'm going to basically install aws cli right and then use aws configure to configure my credentials so that actually helps me to keep my credentials safe so, i mean with terraform there are different ways so you can set up environment variable with your credentials with your aws security credentials you can put that in the terraform main file itself your credentials which is not a very good practice because it would be i mean visible to all uh, apart from that you can pass the terra your uh, credentials on the runtime as well so i mean all these there are ways basically to configure your credential uh, if you are using an ec2 instance uh, for use i mean for running terraform uh, templates and if that ec2 instance has a role uh, associated with it which has access to all your resources then you don't even need to i mean go to your security credential no need to generate that if that role has access your terraform would work perfectly fine right so since i am not on an ec2 instance this is my local uh, machine so i would use aws cli to configure my uh, credentials right so let's do that all right so now let's do pip install aws cli so this is going to install aws cli on my machine this is going to take a minute maybe a couple of minutes and then we should be good you can see it's running the setup.py file and it's done all right so let me clear the screen now if i do aws so you can see we have the command right so to configure your credentials using aws cli you need to do aws configure so you now need to provide your access key id your secret access key your region by default where you want to basically run terraform i mean you can provide that region on the go as well but this will be then suppose you want to majorly use us east one region right so you can set that region over here and then you don't have to provide region every time you run terraform but while running terraform as well you can provide the region to override this particular value and then the output format which you want this is i mean mostly we keep it json uh, otherwise if you leave it to none that also i mean doesn't make a difference and then you are all set up to run terraform so this was it uh, this is the video i just wanted to show you the basic setup you need to have before you i mean watch the other videos of this uh, series because now since we have the terraform configured we'll go it directly into the code and write some terraform code right so we'll start with basic ec2 instance and then go on from there to build complex infrastructure so that will be our approach right all right so yeah this is it for this video guys i hope you like the video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving the and yeah thank you for watching